hard to believe, but we've already reached the end of 2012. For movie lovers, it's been a memorable year filled with great films. During this segment of Flix Picks, I'm going to count down my picks for the 10 best pictures of the year. My number 10 is The Cabin in the Woods, an inspired horror film written by Buffy the Vampire Slayer creator Josh Whedon and the movie's director, Drew Goddard. It's not often that a horror film cracks my top 10, but this movie is so inventive that I think it has the potential to change the way people look at the genre. My number nine pick is Arbitrage, an intense thriller starring Richard Gere as a businessman who finds his life in upheaval when he and his mistress get in a violent car accident. Number eight is Argo, a remarkable political thriller in which director Ben Affleck looks at events surrounding the 1979 Iran hostage crisis. At number seven, I have Moonrise Kingdom, a quirky Wes Anderson dramedy about two youngsters who run away together, causing quite a stir. My sixth favorite film of 2012 is Life of Pi, director Ang Lee's masterful movie about a boy who survives a shipwreck only to be forced to share his life raft with a dangerous Bengal tiger. At number five, I have Lincoln, director Steven Spielberg's historical drama about our 16th president's push to pass the 13th Amendment. This fight is for the United States of America. Number four is Skyfall, the latest James Bond thriller. This movie isn't just any old 007 film. It's one of the best Bond pictures ever produced. My third favorite film of the year is Les Miserables, director Tom Hooper's wonderful screen adaptation of the beloved Broadway musical. At number two, I have Zero Dark Thirty, an intense drama about the U.S. hunt for terrorist Osama bin Laden. This feature, directed by Catherine Bigelow, won't open in Reno until January. When it does, be sure to see it, because it's a stunner. Finally, my pick for the number one movie of 2012 is The Dark Knight Rises. All three of director Christopher Nolan's Batman films have been a blast, and this movie does a fantastic job wrapping up the plot threads introduced in the earlier movies and putting an exclamation point on the trilogy. Dark Knight Rises is everything a blockbuster should be, and it makes me sad that Christopher Nolan has retired from the Batman game. For Fox 11 News, I'm Forrest Hartman.